The Supreme Court says Parliament did not act transparently in the passage of the Narcotic Control Commission Act. Specific reference is made to portions of the law, Section 43, which permitted the cultivation of cannabis for medicinal and industrial purposes. The court on July 27 declared this provision unconstitutional. The minority in parliament says the increase in utility tariffs by the Public Utilities Regulatory Commission will only exacerbate the current high cost of living. This comes after the PURC announced the new tariffs for electricity and water. Utility consumers will pay 27.15% for electricity and 21.55% for water, effective September 1. An essay student in the Northeast region has been summoned over some comments she made in a video regarding her practice. The student of the Nalarugu Nursing and Midrifi College was seen in the video some days ago, lamenting that she was forced by her family into the profession. In other stories, Ghanaians are not only suffering from economic inflation, but mental health inflation as well. President of the Ghana Psychological Association, Dr. Collins Ajiman Bedu, has said. He said recent media reports on deviant behavior and behavioral addictions by the youth, including routes in the country, attested to the fact that all was not well. In business, the Bank of Ghana is convening an emergency monetary policy committee meeting on Wednesday, August 17, 2022, over recent challenges faced by the Ghanaian economy. The meeting, according to the Apex Bank, will review developments in the economy over the past months and ways to deal with the sharp depreciation of the city and the rising inflation. Prices of petroleum products are expected to see a rise beginning today, August 16, as part of the adjustments for the second pricing window of August, despite a reduction in the price of crude oil on the international market. This was revealed by the Executive Secretary for the Chamber of Petroleum Consumers Ghana, COPEC, Duncan Amwa. On the global front, Shebukati has officially gazetted William Ruto and Rigati Gashogwa as president-elect and deputy president-elect, respectively. Following yesterday's declaration of the presidential result, Ruto won the election by a narrow margin, garnering 50.49% of the vote of his closest challenger, Raila Odinges, 48.85%. However, legal battle is expected in the coming days. Raila Odinga has not made any official statement. Still on the global front, experts are still trying to determine the cause of death of thousands of the fish last week in the Oda River that borders Germany and Poland, this time in the vicinity of the eastern city of Frankfurt. The report came just two weeks after Polish anglers reported removing tons of dead fish from the Oda near the town of Ulawa. In sports, Ghana's all-time scorer Asamoja has set his sights on playing for the Black Stars at the 2022 FIFA World Cup to be staged in Qatar. Jan's last appearance for the country was during the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations against Tunisia and despite the long absence from the national team, the player is yet to retire from international football. With the 2022-2023 edition of the Total Energy Champions League and Total Energy's Confederation Cup in motion, CAF has released a list of clubs that have been granted a license for the season. This follows a successful club licensing seminar hosted by CAF in Egypt a fortnight ago that saw member associations to discuss the roadmap for the licensing system in Africa. In entertainment, Ghanaian actress, video vixen, and media personality Andra Ousu, better known as Efiodo, said she is not prepared to enter into any relationship with a man of low financial status. According to her, she once dated a man of low financial status but never ended war. Finally, in the news, Ni Adokwenu, better known by the stage name Tiny, has taken a swipe at colleague dancehall musician Stomboy for what he described as disrespect to him for offering to pay off a promoter in the Wara in OT region, 2000 Ghana cities, to headline a show in May, but he did not show up. This does not sit well with Tiny, who felt offended by a harmless gesture. That will be it for the news this evening. Thank you for watching.